Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Let's Play Contradiction, where... Okay, good. For a moment it said, oh, and you've not got anything. I think that's because it hadn't loaded. Uh, we are, of course, back here. We have been speaking about various things like Doctor Hypnosis. I think before we head down this way and talk to people, uh, I want to go down here, because there's something on in the village hall. Or there isn't. Okay. Maybe it's not on yet, he says. Let's go in. Got a few more things to ask Rebecca, so let's go and do that. Mm, yeah. A few more questions, if you don't mind. I was thinking about going to the... Um, uh, having a look at the tips, but there's not much point in doing that when we know there's things we need to do. So we'll ask about the DVD. Do you know anything about this? No, sorry. Ask Ryan. Okay. Doll burning. What do you know about doll burning, Atlas? Only that it's part of the course. I'm not entirely sure what they're for, but I made dozens for him. You made them? Oh, Ryan can't make anything. He's practically dyspraxic. Okay. Auto-hypnosis. Do you know anything about hypnosis used on the Atlas course? Are you sure you mean hypnosis or the power of persuasion? What's the difference? Not a lot. But if you want someone to do something, it's usually easier to ask nicely. Atlas used persuasion techniques. Well, don't all businesses use it, Inspector? Ever heard of advertising? Hmm. Is there anything else we know about Ryan? Because we can't make things. Um, and some link, no. Maybe the mask? Uh, that's probably not. Cause he, just because he owns it doesn't mean he made it. All right. Thank you. Probably be back later. Almost certainly will be, because I'm sure I've missed something obvious. Let's meander down, go and talk to James. Ah, of course, we haven't spoken to... Is that Paul? I want to say Paul. A uh, few more questions, if you don't mind. Suspicious XXX DVD. Seen this before? No, what is it? Do you recognize it? No. Sure. It's a DVD. What do you know about doll burning? Doll burning? What sort of doll burning? It doesn't mean anything to you. No. Should it? No, that's okay. You're a weird, wacky, mystical person. Maybe I thought maybe you would have actually known something about that. What it represents and stuff. Auto hypnosis. Ever heard of auto-hypnosis, James? Self-hypnosis? Yeah. And what do you know about it? It's another name for scrying. Some people call it auto-hypnosis, I call it scrying. Right. So you're saying scrying is just self-hypnosis? Scrying? You can scry on anything. I don't use a mirror. I can scry watching the clouds. Maybe the water on a lake in the moonlight. And when you're watching the water, what happens? You go into a trance. You lose yourself in your unconscious. You go deeper and deeper. You swim around. Try not to go too deep. Because if you go too deep, you start drowning. Then you get dragged down to the bottom. As long as you stay swimming, come to the surface again. Then you wake up and see the world as it really is. A journey to a place people talk about, but no one's ever seen. You're thinking about Case, aren't you? What makes you say that? She bought a mirror. Sold her one last year. Was she into using mirrors like that? No idea. But she bought one. Right. Hmm. What do we say about mirror? Okay, you just gave me one. Various reasons. 
know about Kate. So you knew her through that. Is that a contradiction? Maybe not. Worth a try. Um. Hmm. Scrying is possible without a mirror. Is that something that clashes with what you've said? Just one way, yes, okay. Hmm. Uh, that's all for the moment. Thank you. I'm sure I'm missing something obvious. We'll go and talk to Paul, I think. A couple more questions, if that's okay. Ask out the DVD. You probably didn't know it. Seen this before. The writing looks familiar, but no. Okay. So I'm. Do not move. Probably should have checked that first. I'm guessing it's uh, uh, Ryan's then. I assume it's. Yeah, it's Paul. Doll burning. What can you tell me about doll burning at Atlas? Not very much. It's one of Ryan's ideas. My son is under the illusion that he's a genius. <laughs> oh dear, I like this guy. Auto-hypnosis. Can you tell me more about the auto-hypnosis techniques used on the course? We don't use hypnosis on the course. Not at all? Not anymore. So, how was it used? Hypnosis is probably the wrong word, Inspector. It's nothing to do with the trances or things like that. It was, it was meant to force, <coughs> to help students. Did you force them? You can't force anybody into being hypnotized. You have to want to be hypnotized. It's not something out of your control. You can't be hurt or damaged in any way by hypnosis. So you've never put pressure on students to enter into hypnosis? It would be impossible to do so. Okay. Uh... Hmm. Paul. Okay. death was unavoidable. Hang on. No. I was wondering if there was a connection. Never used scrying No, it doesn't use scrying on the course. That's so annoying. Oh, have I not asked about broken pendant? Ooh. Oh, that's because normally I don't have to ask about it. Let's ask about it then. Have you seen this before? It looks familiar. Where did you find it? It was uh, in the woods. Presumably had something to do with Kate or a killer. Well, that's what I'm trying to establish. Shouldn't it be in an evidence bag, Inspector, in case of contamination? Yes. I didn't have one with me, unfortunately. Well, don't go testing it for DNA, will you? It's got yours all over it. Oh, no, 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 because we know this is one that was bought for a student. So... What? It looks familiar, but he bought one. Boo. Hmm. Hmm. Be back later on, if that's okay. Hmm. Waiting for some big shenanigan thing. What do you suggest? Three things I haven't asked Ryan. Paul and Ryan both think... I've just asked... I've just asked Paul. Let's... Let's teleport up to Atlas and see if Ryan is now available. Ooh, hello. Whoa! Whoa! What did he... What was he doing? The DVD! That's all they took. It must have been deliberate. Someone clearly wanted that back. 
Nice and helpful of them to leave a piece of evidence behind, though. Ooh. <clears throat> well, that's very interesting. Okay, so it does kind of follow the route as if you'd travelled it. That's very good. I was worried something like I, I was wondering worried if something like that did happen. I'm going to just come back here. And ask him about the bag, assuming I can. A few more questions, please. Thank you. Have you seen this before? No, I don't think so. You don't recognise the shop? No. Is there someone else who works at Atlas? Someone who may have been there tonight? No. There's a cleaner. Comes at strange times, but then... He's a strange boy. Work experience. As a cleaner? Well, we did try him in accounts, but it didn't work out. <laughs> uh, doesn't know where it's from. Master of Monarch's Costumes, which is what this is about. Aha. Thought he mentioned it. Do you visit Monarch Costumes a lot? No. I used to go in there occasionally. Why? But you do know the shop. Yes, of course I do. You see, Paul, I thought you said... You didn't know where this bag was from. Well, maybe I do. This was used to put over my head, Paul, by a mugger. Would you like to tell me something? Are you suggesting that I had something to do with your mugging? Did you? You really ask the most ridiculous questions. Of course I didn't. So why did you lie about the shop? Well, <clears throat> I didn't have anything to do with your mugging inspector, but I might know somebody who did. Mm. Go on. Did Ryan mention Jason to you, the cleaner? Unfortunately, Ryan at some point told Jason that the DVD mustn't be removed from the site. So when he saw you take it, he simply thought that he was doing us a favor by uh, getting it back. He isn't exactly what you'd call one of Darwin's best examples. So what's on the DVD that's so special? All right, it was something I did myself, a little stunt I pulled to amuse the students. What kind of stunt? I pretended to steal from the students. I emphasize the word pretended. The students knew all about it afterwards. Everything was above board. Steal from students? Why? We were doing a piece about pushing the limit, so I decided I... I would show them how it was done. Oh, don't look so serious, Inspector. I returned everybody's things immediately afterwards. No harm done. And when was this? Last year sometime. At Third Eye or Atlas? Third Eye, I think. And this was before or after Liam died? Well, since you'll probably find out anyway, it happened to be on the night that Liam died, as it happens. Before you ask. No. I didn't steal from him. Do you think it's a good idea to encourage students to steal, Paul? I wasn't encouraging students to steal. Policemen are so literal. Life is shades of grey, Inspector. Much as the force might like it, it doesn't divide neatly into blacks and whites. Now, if you don't mind, you'd have to excuse me for a moment. You know where the door is. The, the smile he had when he said that he didn't steal from uh, Liam is... Um, I see he was quick enough to claim he didn't steal from Liam. Mm. What kind of stunt was that anyway? And Liam dying later the same night mm. was just all a bit too suspicious. The smile was seemed to be more a case of uh, you can't prove that I didn't. No, you can't use things. Uh, let's let's go back to Atlas as my original plan. But I assume things will now be a bit more open. I would assume. Hmm. Ah, so it's not even here now. Uh, I suppose it makes sense. If you think someone's just going to nick it, you're going to 
want to hide it away, aren't you? Try the lounge door now, hopefully... Oh, no. But you're saying I should talk to him, aren't you? Oh, I need to go and ask everyone. The fob looks like it's some kind of lock-up. What fob? Must have a key. Oh, oh, is that just a... You can't do it now. Yes. Some kind of key I have. Oh, I assume this. Ah, okay. Just got to work out where that is, then. Everywhere. Explore. Right. Uh, let's continue. Sometimes there's stuff here. Obviously not at this point. I think it makes sense to ask Simon first about the... Uh, about this. Ask you a couple more things, please. About these things, although it's probably not going to be overly useful. You've seen this? You know the shop? Yeah, yeah, I know the shop. I hired something from them last year, I think. It's for a party, I assume. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Uh. Okay. Clearly, it's not the case. The theft stunt. What do you know about Paul stealing money from students? Part of a stunt or something? What, did he do that? I, I've never heard about anything like that. No, it might be part of the risk-taking thing, though. Explain that. Well, it's, it's part of the course. You have to do something dangerous or risky, uh, something you wouldn't normally do. Something dangerous? Well, not dangerous, just, just risky. Like um, saying something you wouldn't normally say to someone or uh, doing something unusual. Like stealing from other students. Well, we didn't do anything like that, but you have to tell everyone at the end of the course anyway. And you're not allowed to do anything that would hurt or offend anyone. Or you're not allowed to do anything really bad. It's all pretend, really. <sighs> Seems a bit odd for a business course. Mm -hmm. It works, though. Not allowed to hurt or offend others. I have to do something risky. I mean, these things all kind of fit, don't they? Hmm. Nope, we'll go to okay, Emma. That's it for now. Thank you. Let's get the bag. Do you uh, know the shop? Have you used it? No, but I know where it is. That, okay. 